Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about how to take input from user in Java programming. So we will use scanner and buffer reader class. So first we will use scanner class. After that, we will use buffer reader class. And at the end of the video, we will discuss which one is better, buffer reader class or scanner class. So let's start first scanner class. So welcome in practical session. First we will create a simple project like go to file, new, java project, name of the project. Scanner is a class in Java Jutal package. So for that we will import Java Jutal package. So let's create an object of scanner class. For this we use scanner sc new S C A double N E scanner and to create an object of scanner class we usually pass the predefined object of system dot in which represents the standard input stream. So here we pass system dot in. So in this statement declare the object and initialize with predefined standard input object So for string input we use name dot sc dot next line next line function we use for string input and just single character input we use next dot care at zero next function return the next token word in the input as a string and care at zero function return the first character in that string. Numerical data input byte, short, and float can be read using the similar named function. Like uh, in this case, we are using here for as as equal to sc dot next int. For integer type input, we use next int. For double type input, we use next double. For long type input, we use next long. So if you want to take uh, byte type, float type, you can use similar name function like if you want to float type, you can use sc dot next float. So let's print the value to check if the input was correctly obtained. So I want to use system dot out dot print ln system. So let's run the program and check the output. So you can see this is the output of this program. Uh, this is the name, gender, age, mobile and marks. So it's time to use buffer reader class. So let's do some changes. So 
सो इट्स टाइम टू चेक द चेंजेस तो फर्स्ट दिस इज द फर्स्ट चेंज इम्पोर्ट जावा आयो पैकेज बिकॉज बफर रीडर इज ए क्लास इन जावा आयो पैकेज सो इन स्टेड ऑफ जावा जूटर पैकेज वी आर यूजिंग हेयर फॉर बफर रीडर क्लास इम्पोर्ट जावा आयो पैकेज एंड नेक्स्ट इज थ्रोज आयो एक्सेप्शन वी आर यूजिंग हेयर थ्रोज आयो आयो एक्सेप्शन to maintain the normal flow of that application we use throws io exception because exception is run time error and exception handling it is a different topic we will cover later in after that you can see buffer reader in this statement we are creating a, an object of buffer reader class buffer reader br new buffer reader in buffer reader constructor we are passing new input stream readers object and uh, we are passing system dot in predefined input stream object so after that you can see here uh, for uh, string input we are using read line method instead of next line methods next line it's part of scanner class but read line method it is a part of buffer reader class so read line method reads a full line of text from the buffer reader's internal buffer it returns a string so for character input we use read method we are read method we are dot read method and explicit cast char so in for integer format we use again read line method and read line method we know it returns a string and we want to convert that string into uh, integer format so that's why we use integer dot parse int method parse int method is to convert the string to an int type so parse int method is part of integer class uh, for mobile number mobile number has type like long type so for long type we again use read line method and read line method turn string format and we want to convert that string to a long type and here we use long dot parse long for marks we use again double dot parse double so let's check the output of this program and before that i want to make comments of scanner parts so make it now let's check it so this is the output of this program buffer reader is synchronized while scanner is not buffer reader should be used if we are working with multiple threads so the scanner has a little buffer 1 kb char buffer as opposite to buffer reader 8 kb byte buffer but it is more than enough so buffer reader is bit faster as compared to scanner because scanner does parsing of input data and on other hand buffer reader reads sequence of characters so hello everyone last video i had asked a question what's the difference between single and and double and in java the answer is the basic difference between single and double and operator is that that single and operator evaluate both sides of the expression whereas the double and operator evaluates only the left and side of the expression to obtain the final result so today's question is what is passing in java so please give the answer of this question in comment section otherwise i'll give the answer of this question in next video i hope you have learned something new in this video so i'll see you in the next video